soon. Triple Doppler brought to you by Cuyahoga Community College shows some increasing cloud cover returning on the radar. Maybe some areas of drizzle, but I think a lot of us are still dry. Showers are pushing in from the south. But I don't think we're going to see a lot of them. I think the chance for a shower is certainly there today, so I wouldn't leave without the rain gear, but they will be mainly pop up showers. We're right on the outer fringes of a few systems that are trying to push to the north. This area of low pressure is going to curl on itself, mainly shoot to the south. So the further south you travel from Syracuse, places like Cortland and Tompkins County may see some steadier showers today. Everybody else I think is going to get off pretty much scot free with a lot of dry time. Just for reference, since the start of meteorological spring, we are over two and a half inches short of what we should be precipitation wise. So we really do need the water. I don't think we're going to get a lot of it this weekend. Syracuse is at 48 degrees, milder air just to our west, still hanging back in the 50s in Ithaca and Binghamton as well. Overall today, not nearly as warm as yesterday, but we will have a seasonal finish. A chance of a shower more promising the further south you go. So I think places like Auburn and Clyde will be 68 degrees. Might get off scot free with just a few pop up afternoon showers the further south you go. Ithaca dried in the southern Finger Lakes, much more promising chances for a stray shower or two. But again, I don't think we're going to be racking up any rainfall numbers. Uh, temperatures pretty much seasonal across the board. The further north you go, better chances for breaks of sunshine, better chances for dry time, and maybe temperatures a bit warmer into the 70s for Fulton, Mexico, Pulaski, and Adams. Even places up north having a chance with that extra sunshine to warm up quite a bit. So I think the warmer air will be to our north, not to our south. We'll plan it out for you hour by hour with the future cast. See those clouds really take over and thicken by noon today. A chance of a pop up shower more favorable the further south that you go. I don't think the location is perfect, but the idea is there. Anything that pops up today will be pretty light. If it does pop up north of I 90 may pick up a little bit of steam. You can see that in old forge tapping into a little bit of that heat. But further to the south of Syracuse, that is the best chance for showers. Now the system is going to linger as it starts to curl in and we do have a scattered shower chance mainly south and east of Syracuse on Sunday. Then high pressure takes over by the end of the day on Sunday into Monday and look at this warm up. No major air mass changes or big weather makers. So our air just stays in place through the end of the week. It slowly warms with added sunshine. Mid 70s by Tuesday, I'm thinking 80s by Wednesday, and I'm kind of holding back on those temperatures for the end of the week because latest models in this morning have them shooting to be quite warm, but we're going to keep a conservative for now. Don't get anyone too excited with a chance of a rumble of thunder Thursday and Friday. So make sure you get our Weather 30 app brought to you by CNYRealtor.com, Interactive Doppler, an hour by hour forecast.